All right, here is my installation and review of the tremory system for uh, tremolo guitars. So I bought the small one because that would give me the most amount of uh, wiggle room to uh, adjust the distance of the claw in my guitar. It comes in this uh, rustic looking cloth bag and included is the actual unit and then you have what looks to be some stop screws, some double sided tape, some springs and a wrench for installing. So now I've adjusted the cavity in my tremolo to be around 71 millimeters, which is the minimum length for the small one. I took the small one because it would give me the most amount of uh, wiggle room to work with because I it would have been a little too maxed out the screws if I would have had the medium or the large. So you want to install now little felt strips on the claw on that front edge right there and on the edge, uh, the front edge on the tremolo block so that when it hits it, it won't make uh, additional noise. A little difficulty I wanted to point out with these little uh, pieces they apply or they provide is that you want to make sure that you get rid of the paper without taking the adhesive with it which was pretty annoying in my case but that's just one thing I wanted to point out make sure that you don't rip off the adhesive from the uh, felt so I did a bit of a trial and error with putting the felt on and you want to make sure that you put it see if I can get a zoom there see that it goes around the claw that it doesn't just sit on the edge over there over on let me see if I can get this, this edge that it doesn't sit just over there it needs to go over the entire thing because otherwise when you put on the spring it will just push off the felt and same thing goes for back here with the uh, block you don't want to put it just down here because then it will just slip off when you push it down so you want to make sure that it comes as close to that hole as possible while still being able to put this spring through. So I've now installed the trimmery and I have screwed the claws as far in so that there is still a gap in between here uh, when you pull up as hard as you can because that means that you're getting the maximum amount of travel. If it's hitting before uh, you can max out the travel so that you should max out your travel by the block hitting the body instead of this hitting there. So you want to keep moving it forward. So I think you want to get as small of a size that you can fit in your guitar because that will give you enough space to be able to tighten it uh, all the way. So now I've got the system installed. And I think how it works is that inside of this part right here, is a spring, that little rod right there, it has a spring underneath of it. See, inside of that hole there's a spring in there. So when you pull up on the uh, on the tremolo, then that compresses forward. And then that spring wants to push it back out to where it was. And then when you pull up on the bar, you have this spring over here. Let's see if I can just get my bar. Yeah. So when you go down, it lifts away from the spring claw over here, and is still hooked on by the by the spring over here. So it wants to return back to that zero position where you lock it in place. So where you lock it uh, in place will be its zero position, and then uh, it will not provide any tension unless it's moved out of that zero position it just wants to always return to that same spot so you have to set your tuning first with your normal springs you want to make sure everything is right and then you can uh, uh, lock the tremor in place and it will uh, uh, add tension to go back to that normal spot so if you uh, say if you break a string on uh, uh, on your guitar, then that would be the equivalent of the springs getting more force. And by that happening, the uh, the spring inside here will 
compensate for that and push it back out. I've also greased up the uh, the unit in multiple places. Here, where the spring uh, wraps around there, it moves around and makes some noise. Here, as well, around uh, where the spring goes, and then also try to get some inside uh, of that shaft there, where it goes uh, inside over there. It's a uh, it's pretty loud uh, audibly, but uh, through a signal chain you can't hear anything. Now one thing I recommend uh, highly uh, if you're a Floyd Rose owner, and uh, definitely if you want to install one of these, is to make yourself a block that is uh, the perfect thickness right here, so that when the spring, uh, the strings have more tension than the springs, then the, uh, the tremolo will be completely flat. So that makes it uh, much easier setting it up and finding the uh, place where uh, your uh, springs and the strings are in uh, equilibrium with each other. I removed the felt pads and just put some duct tape instead. Uh, I found that it was just easier to install and stuck better. You could get it to wrap around all the way around so uh, it wouldn't get caught on anything and push the uh, get pushed off like the felt was getting. It wouldn't really stay in place. So the tremory, so the tremory basically extends uh, the uh, equilibrium point on your guitar. So it gives you more leeway uh, should your tension between your springs and your strings change. That's basically how I would summarize the function of the tremory. Okay, so now I've got a uh, Reaper session open here. You can see my. Uh my rear tune, I'm going to show you that I am in tune. So now you can see I'm in tune. Now I'm going to do a torture test to see how well it performs uh, a lot of uh, use on the tremolo. Going as far down as possible and as, as far up as possible. And then at the end, I will go all the way up and then slowly bring it back to pitch as that usually results in the guitar uh, staying sharp. So here we go. Check the tuning. It's a little bit flat on the E and A string. Let's see if a quick uh, dive won't help it. slowly so it seems that you just have to have that technique uh, on a Floyd Rose uh, that you have to bring the bar down again but it was not very noticeably out of tune so you could probably get away with it not having to drop the bar but if you want to make sure you return properly then you want to drop the bar a little bit now the feel of the bar is uh, much stiffer now because as soon as it moves out of that zero point the tremory adds a bunch of resistance to the whole system, wanting to bring it back to that zero point. So it means that flutters, uh, they don't sound nearly as good, because in a flutter, the, the strings and the springs are trying to equalize each other when you let go of the bar suddenly, which gives that warbling effect. But since you have the tremory in there, it stabilizes it much quicker, which uh, kills the uh, flutter. Or it doesn't na last nearly as long, because it wants to stabilize it back to the zero point. So after using the tremory for a little bit, uh, I would say that I can recommend it pretty safely. It just helps uh, stabilize the Floyd Rose 
which is uh, a little bit too sensitive to changes and this uh, solves that you can uh, do uh, oblique bends and the uh, stationary string won't go out of tune which is good and it seems to return more consistently the tune with this with the tremor installed all in all I would recommend getting the tremory if you have a uh, floating tremolo.